Uh, we are performing a boiling experiment. We are looking at um, the heat that can be removed by bubbles from hot surfaces in Earth gravity, low gravity, high gravity, and lunar and Martian gravities as well. Um, so we have here a boiling chamber filled with a fluid called FC72. We have electrodes over that, um, over a heater contained within that boiling chamber. And we turn on and off this electric field up to 10 kilovolts to see how this electric field will remove bubbles from a surface. Before we enter the parabola, the plane is flying in 1G, one, one and we see bubbles growing and leaving the surface. The bubbles grow, grow to a certain size, and when the buoyancy force overcomes the surface tension force, the bubble will leave in Earth gravity and also in hypergravity. When we go to low gravity environments, the buoyancy force disappears because there is no gravity anymore, and the bubble will grow on the surface and continue to grow and the smaller bubbles will all coalesce into a very large bubble which tends to remain on the heater and um, essentially uh, stop any additional heat removal from the heater. Um, boiling heat transfer is important to NASA and ESA. Um, there are many space applications which can rely on boiling heat transfer. For example, nuclear reactors in space need to be cooled. Um, one also is interested in heat exchangers, making them much smaller and more compact and lighter weight. Um, there's also uh, water recycling for astronauts. For example, if an astronaut wishes to go from the Earth to Mars, it will take six months to go there, and it is um, infeasible to bring up all the water that an astronaut will need to drink and for other applications and then throw it overboard. So all the water that is on the spacecraft will need to be recycled, and that will also require phase change heat transfer processes or boiling processes.